a people entered here, the very three SDL province blue team. Nightmare is an inquisitor offensive hero with powerful control abilities begins in melee but can get specialized ranged weapons. This is the Mordian Iron Guard elite scheme alongside Angry Metal Guy as a tech marine starts off in ranged combat can support with structures and repair Blood Ravens and Rowden off this team. Adreva is an apothecary support hero fighting in melee combat by default begins with a heal a passive health regeneration aura. Looks like we have a fancy Raven Guard scheme here. Red team is pretty much as angry as it gets. Triple war bosses starting with the elite mod legend. It's noisy. Alongside them, name BOH and YZ. These guys fight in melee combat, walking through objects. Strong offense, support and disruption from the front lines. And looks like YZ was not aware it was triple war boss time. I'm sure they're thrilled. Name going for single shooter boys. The other players going for double shooters. There's Hammer of the Witches on the war boss's face, but I think it's gonna be tough for Nightmare to hold here. Guardsmen take the garrison. Sluggers do have burners on the way. So they might get wrecked in there. Inquisitor needs to run. She may go down actually. Tries to flee. I think she's gonna be all right. Sluggers aren't amazing at chasing because their, their sidearms are terrible. Guards are now being swarmed. Those sluggers getting incredibly low. How do you still have two models, guys? Oh, Potikari has fallen over in the middle. He should get revived here by the Tech Marine. Unless the war boss has a stomp available. But he probably doesn't. Double tax here to shoot him. Gonna come and say hello with a chain axe. Boom. And there's shotgun scouts, and there's the war boss fleeing. Expect catechins on the way for nightmare, I would think. Sentinel took a bunch of damage from a darker. Guardsman barely making it out. Two hit points. They do make it though. They were inside the garrison getting wrecked. Shooter boys with big shooters. Only on one of them though. Looters up here for name. And it is Catachan Devils on the way for Nightmare. A Draver with double tactical marines expect. Oh, we have purification vials already. I was going to say vials or purification rights and maybe a sanguine chainsword as well expected assault marines to come out though you try and bait melee units into them and you can respond with your purification rights or by chucking your vials sentinel gets shot to death here's the catechin devils though very versatile infantry that can disrupt counter melee support with a smoke grenade and get stuck into some melee themselves War boss runs, this is noisy. Devastators up for Angry Metal Guy with a heavy bolter to suppress infantry and they've gone for advanced targeting. They can use vengeance rounds for a damage boost but they lose suppression while it's active. There's the looters doing their suppression stuff with that death gun. Name BOH with burner sluggers on the prowl looking for a fight. They're gonna find one very quickly here. Any sign of a master crafted bolt gun? There is not. It's double catagens though for Nightmare. Hammer of the Witches for the war boss. Starting ability of the Inquisitor is so good. War boss goes down. Looks like they had the boss pole up, perhaps. Maybe. Oh, Sluggers wipe as well. Those guys had burners. Storm boys on the way now for name. And here's a bunch of darker scouts getting close. They have their sergeant looking for a grenade, perhaps. On the looters? No. Did they use it already? Maybe I missed them using it. Looters having to run. Decent little passage of play there for the blue team. They have the west side. Multi-laser turret going up. Double catechins in play. Storm boys are indeed on the field already for YZ. And they just hit the field there for name BOH. Backing off on this east side are the orcs. They have the contested power with a gen on it. Kicking off in the mid. Lots of darker for the scouts. They don't like it. Being light infantry armor type, they'll get shredded by Shooter Boys Daka. Whereas Marines will be a bit more resistant with their heavy infantry armor. Down goes Noisy's war boss now. That was the Katachin's grenade barrage going off. These guys trying to bash the node. Storm Boys jumping in on the double Katachins that are here. There's a shotgun blast. Hard Boys thrown up on the Storm Boys here. 
global ability of the war bosses. Not sure which one would have used it. Probably name on their own storm boys there. But he can put that stuff on allied units, which is handy. Burner boys trying to bash power. They've got some backup, including looters. And there's still no assault marines or anything on the field. Scouts can try and rush forward for a grenade, but that would have been very, very risky there. Katachuns can come and help defend with their disruption. Down goes the tech marine. Was trying to wait for the shotgun blast, I think, and not retreat. Inquisitor should get an easy revive, though. Speaking of revives, Noisy's war boss back on the field and goes for the revive on name. 476 to 434. There it is. That gets them to level 2. And we do indeed see a boss pole up. That's all those orange sparkly circles you see on the orcs there buffing their health and suppression resistance. On the east side, the orcs are through. And on the power, Apothecary, I'll just use Laraman's Blessing, I believe, to revive themselves and the Tech Marine, I think. 476 to 417, one of those global abilities. A driver saying, well, they, owed, they own me. Angry Metal Guy going to support. Katachin's wiping out those shooters. And those were fully upgraded shooters, I think. So I think that was a knob leader at the front. Using their grenade barrage to wipe them out on retreat. Not bad at all. Noisy runs off. Stomping through things. There's the double Katachin's. Back to the east side. Oh, we do have a Sanguine Chainsaw Apothecary now. Helps him brawl and stay in combat. And perhaps avoid having to use the heal on himself. Because he can get healed back, health back by hitting stuff and shooting it. Helps to have an aggressive hero that can fight against orcs, I guess. Files. Nasty. Don't think these shooter boys are going to make it out. No more shooting for them. Is that another boss pole? It's a fully upgraded war boss, actually. Bang Bang Hammer. Cyborg implants for a big old stomp. And the boss pole is in for YZ. Meanwhile, through the mid, though, his name, BOH, and tier twos all around. Looks like the blue team got there first. And they're controlling the western side now. There's the decap on the VP. Should now turn to fighting, I think. And they do. Oh, they just run away. Lost the indicator for that war boss. But it indeed run away. The Storm Boys have power miller weapons. They're a big threat to Marines when they jump on them like that. That's why there was a swift retreat there. Nice grenade, I think, on those fellas, was it? Was it a grenade? Where did the grenade come from? How did they die? I'm confused. Oh, plasma cannon up already. Looks like they all died in a pile, like a grenade hit them. But I don't see scouts anywhere close by. There's a grenade, for sure. Nicely done. Hit some retreating storm boys a, a bit, I think, as well. Grenade barrage disrupting the looters. Inquisitor's gone for Inferno pistol. Big investment. Powerful weapon. Effective against all targets at a relatively short range. And you get the awesome judgment ability. 476 to 360 on the VPs. Things exploding on the west side. That's the Katachins again with their grenades. Grenade launching. Judgment up on the shooters. Instant cast that ability. There's no animation or anything. So you can't exactly stop it with disruption or watch for the animation or anything. Just pops up. Storm boys, oh, with their knob leader jumping in and stunning some tactical marines. Heavy melee on that knob leader as well. And a plasma gun tech marine here. Powerful ranged weapon. Very effective against heavy infantry, such as a knob squad, which may appear later. Flash kits are also heavy infantry. 476 to 333 on the VPs. Librarian up for Angry Metal Guy. A driver down to just two units right now. They had double tax at some point, I believe. Plasma devs on the way for them. Librarian up for Angry Metal Guy. Stormtroopers with... Oh, no kit. No kit yet. Plasma Cannon gets a decent hit there. Weird Boy up for name. I suspect we'll see a Weird Boy for Noisy as well against that infantry guardsman army there. 
Ekmarine with Signum armor on the way. Oh, on the field, actually. West side. Some improvised explosives by the Catachans. Hammer of the Witches. Oh, couldn't go off. She couldn't quite, quite get close enough because she was suppressed there. War truck on the way for name and indeed a weird boy on the way for noisy. And if they can get the foot of Gork. Warphead, I believe the upgrade is called. They can mess up the Catachans because they tend to blob up quite a lot. Small model sizes and they're also arranging themselves to use abilities a lot. They tend to blob up around stuff. But the carry goes down on the eastern side. There's tier 3 for Idraver. Really? They might lose the power here too. Can Angry Metal Guy defend it? Tech Marine is making their way over, but they're kind of far away. They do have some stuff here though. Including a Librarian and Devastated Stormboy's Jump. Where's the Veil of Time? For the Devastators. Maybe it's on cooldown or something. Stormboy's getting wrecked though. Hard Boys is on them, but they need to run. Shooter Boy is getting way too close. There's a Pain Boy on the field there. And throw out heals, football units to heal over time. Overcharge plasma going on. Mark target was up too. Nice assist from Angry Metal Guy. Pretty angry. They're still going for their tier 3. Big old poke on the pain boy, but he's going to be alright, I think. West side turns red. Thanks to Noisy, who's almost level 3. No war gear on that war boss, though. Are they all level 2? Oh, Name. Name's war boss has got barely any XP. Ever, haven't been able to revive anyone, and it can be tough to kill Marines and get your XP bar going. Drop pod coming in with some more Marines for Angry Metal Guy. Perhaps they're going to turn into Stern Guard veterans. Need to get their sergeant first, if that's the case. War truck looking after the VP. Oh, they didn't get decap, though. They're going, they chose violence, which is usually the orky choice for things. Librarian with a good special though, going after those Storm Boys. Storm Boys are really getting focused here when they jump in. I think they make it out. 14 hit points, they do make it out. Well, for now, anyway. Weird Boy throws out a warp vomit. Mark target on them, no need to be careful. Librarian doing some work, eh? Weird Boy does make it out. What about Noises? Weird Boy getting very low here. Oh, they have the Warp Head, look. There's a Warp Vomit. Starting ability of the Weird Boy. Getting very low, though, needs to run. We do indeed have Assault Kit, Stormtroopers, and one of the Catechon Devil Squads has been wiped. And they get the Inquisitor down, too. Hell Fury dropped in. Global ability of the Inquisitor drops a big old fire bomb. Hoping to wipe those sluggers, I guess, but didn't quite work out. Primarius Psycho on the way now for Nightmare. Oh, these Marines getting in low. They're okay, though. Stormboy's backing off. Full power bash, though. Yes, it is. The Warboss just kicked that generator. Oh, no. Painboy didn't get a decap. Mark target on the Warboss. What are you up to, buddy? Big mistake. Gonna go down, I think. Yep, down they go. Not sure why they ran back in there. Just a lapse in concentration. Orcs. With a 2 to 1 cap. Power bashing both sides, although maybe not fully on this side. Anything to threaten the war truck with? Tank Buster Barrage misses most things. I mean, they're just throwing plasma and las guns at it, and it was enough. The Catachans with their Sarge. And the Melter Gun I for I'd forgotten about and they were able to get it done. And also, of course, Inferno Pistol was probably getting shots in. Liber Heresius is up. East side, I hear explosions and things. Overcharged Plasma Tech Marine. Librarian getting stuck into combat again. Throws out the smite. And then runs. Just, he's not running, he's bravely repositioning. Here's a Predator Tank for a Draver. Scouts up to support it. Had to replace them at some point. 
more tier 3s coming in for Nightmare and Angry Metal Guy and for YZ. Maybe a triple cap here. Weird boy on the VP. But the uh, tank says no. Scouts will come and take it back. But that's a double cap. We'll help them even up the VPs here, the Orcs. West side though, can they hold it? Improvise explosives up. There's that Psyker. Has that fun basic psychic attack ahead, that jumps between little models. It's quite powerful. War boss with the power claw and the boss pole ready to smack things to death. Can they even up fully here? 282 to 265. Inquisitor judges the weird boy harshly. That was painful, eh? Psyche getting quite low. In a battle of wits with the weird boy there. Both throwing psychic attacks at each other. And the primary psycho runs. And there's the foot of Gork. Crunch. It did hit some of the catachins. Big damage, knockback, and the stun. I believe it's plasma cannon damage too. Meanwhile, east side. Power's going to get bashed again. They're also crunching that drop pod. Father carry levels to three. Can they get a good vials throw here on those shooters? I guess they don't. There it is. No doubt it's a scout grenade. They're going to wipe out those shooters anyway. Who needs vials? 248 to 265. Still the 2 to 1 for the red orky team. Noisy goes tier 3. Come fight me. Don't fight the random noob but mid, says YZ. They want, they want 2v1 against them, apparently. Already just... Oh, they're just referring to a Draper who's rotated across. Maybe a full power bash here. Oh, trying to get a decap. Weird boy says no. West side kicking off. Noisy needs to be very careful here. They're 2v1. Warboss is still nice and healthy. Sluggers are okay. Warboss runs. Tank busters run. Looks like he got out of it all right. Oh, our Draver's tank goes down. There it is. Storm boys, I guess, jumped on it, eh? And weird boy shots, maybe, and maybe even a war boss got a smack in. Although I don't think so. No, I don't think the war bosses were close to it. Knob squad coming now for YZ. Inquisitor can help you a lot controlling enemy knob squads with crossbow bolt pistol, excruciators, and purgatus, and hammer of the witches, of course. Terminators up for Adreva. Tapping their VP back, but they're going to be up against it. Terminators getting stunned. Storm boys will do a lot of damage to Terminators. Warboss getting in there too, having to teleport out. They're still stunned. Stunned for a while, eh? Slugger's doing some work on them, even. Base turrets helping out. The Terminators did not drop a model. West side turning very blue right now. Warbush is hanging out. There he goes. Looking for a fight now. Zap's going to jump between targets here from the weird boy. Jumping not really effective against single entities though. Psychic Hood is in. Gate of Infinity could help out an allied Terminator squad if they get into trouble because those guys cannot retreat. Stormboy is coming in with a bomber boy. Is that a venerable Dreadnought coming in from Angry Metal Guy? It is. Unique Dreadnought for the Tech Marine. Going to help fighting that knob squad, but can't afford to get that guy isolated. That's the Apothecary down. Should get revived there, though. Not sure what the Dreadnought is up to. Needs to turn and face. There we go. Emperor's Fist comes in. This guy can also charge. Can use it, of course, offensively or to escape. What are you targeting, big fella? There's the charge. Tank busters are there, so it needs to be very careful. Tank busters are now gone. Knob squad going after it, though, and they will take out anything, even in their default state. Execution of Demon Russ. Ready to execute some orcs. Down goes the war boss. Knob squad coming in. Another war boss there with a big stomp. And they can get a revive now for a chunk of XP. 
that's the name that's gone down. Orcs are just rampaging through. Still can't stop this knob squad. Oh, there we go. They retreat. An early retreat, I thought, but they didn't want to drop a model, I suppose. It was a good assault. Terminator's on capping duty again. Angry metal guy can get to revive. Level 6 with Signum Armor and Plasma Gun. Lots of damage potential there. Angry metal guy calling out the res to make sure they don't rebuy themselves. Power bashing tank busters need to be careful here. Because of that. They're alright. They retreated off in time. Any other war gear to stop a knob squad? Not really. I guess Noisy doesn't have any on this side. Refractor field up for the tech marine. Level 7 now after the revive. Apothecary is level... Oh, very nearly level 4. And does have armor of the Apothecarian. Which often is very super effective in a 3v3. Yes, very super. It's an official term, you see. Weird boy on the way for YZ. Pergatus. Big old area of effect stun and damage. Expensive piece of war gear though. Stick bombers with taking a bunch of friendly fire there from the weird boy. Are they going to make it out? Looks like they're okay. Yes. Primaris cycle with big chunks of damage. Maybe they have the upgrade. I'm not sure if it... I can never remember what shows up in the unit card in terms of upgrades for the primary Psyker. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Meanwhile, Big Orc Rampage through the mid. Going after that Terminator squad. Have they teleported already? There we go. Able to teleport out. Still being chased though by the Storm Boys. Nob squad have turned around. Emperor's Fist, Venerable Dreadnought. Charging through, charging into the tank busters, I think. Got some flash kits there with blasters as well. They're not really a threat to the dreadnought, but the tank busters really are. So is that knob squad. Ard boys up on the knob squad. Can this thing survive? Yes, Pergatus. Oh, it doesn't hit the knobs though. I think the knob squad have got this guy down. There's Emperor's Fist. Trying to use it to escape. Warboss chasing, but it's a bang bang hammer warboss, not a power claw. There's global repair, blessing of the Omnissiah. The Nob squad is still going in, and it goes down. There's stoicism. It was so close to getting away. Oh, the tech ring goes for a melter gun. I wonder why. The Nob squad are the biggest threat, and the plasma gun's better against those guys. Warboss did go down, chasing. That's the name. Yeah, they used. Blessing of the if they use blessing earlier, they may may have got that guy away. 114 to 237. VP lead now for the Orcs. Lehman Russ getting cracked though, getting good, good crumping from this knob squad here. This is Noisy's knob squad. Can't even see it on the roster. Noisy's got a bunch of units to manage here. If someone can do it, it's noisy. Warboss gets away. Oh, they've got heavy armor up, Mosey. Down goes the Lehman Russ. It was actually Sluggers that got it done. Did the Nob Squad just run earlier? Are you going to make it out? User Choppers was on these guys. Terminators are there. Does not make it out, but I, I think they'll take that loss for taking out the Lehman Russ. And now we can see the Nob Squad. West side. Father Carey healed himself, was maybe trying to get a grenade throw going. Oh no, they have purification rights now. That's going to help against the knobs because the general way to stop them, other than just a massive focus fight, is to disrupt those guys and knock them over. You can, you can suppress them, but they have an inbuilt way to prevent that. But forcing them to use it early can be beneficial. Trying to suppress them as soon as you see them. Make them pop their frenzy. Terminator's in trouble. They do not like to be stunned. Because they can't retreat out of it. And they got double warp vomited and jumped by Storm Boys. 
and look how long they were stunned for. And they go down. Just couldn't get them out. Could not get them out. Wow, says a driver. Yeah. That was a really nasty combo. You don't actually see that happen very often. Don't see that happen very often. A driver. Yeah, perma stun. You don't see warp vomits get chained together like that. Very often. In fact, I can't remember that happening to a Terminator squad and getting them killed. Inquisitor went down. A driver's down to a single scout squad. And it's a big VP lead for the Orcs. Triple war bosses is scary, eh? And there's the uh, weird boy chucking some stuff through. He's also got war path up. Another Lehman Russ is on the field. Be so careful with the Lehman Russes, though. You get really good damage output from the Executioner. Nob squad starts looking at you funny, it's gonna take damage. Constant pressure here from the orcs. A driver with more terminators coming in. They're gonna be massively threatened again, but still a good thing to fall in, fall in with um, the inspiration and stuff that they can do. Down to 50 VPs. Seems like Angry Metal Guy couldn't really get their tier 3 going, eh? I mean, they had the Venerable Dreadnought. But I don't think they got another tier 3 unit. Down goes the Looted Tank. And Blue Team bounce back here. Triple Plasma Cannons for Angry Metal Guy. If they can get them onto the west side and stabilize a bit, that could be nasty. 33 to 236. Making their way to the west side. Terminators can shrug off this darker here and cap. And look at this. Sneaky scouts from a driver. Getting shotguns, also getting jumped though. God, oh, they didn't get the decap. It's the right choice. I don't think they would have got the decap and they would have just died. Executioner. Doing some executing. Down to 19 VPs though. Here comes the knob squad and the war boss. And there's over there. To get them into the fight quicker. Dob squad of noisy with their hammers. The war boss level four kitted out. Going after the tech marine there. You switch back to a plasma gun level nine, doing outrageous amounts of damage. That's why they're going after him. They don't want him shooting the knob squad. Two to one now for the blue team. Noisy came rampaging on through. Can they get the VP back? Tank busters are trying. Decap goes through. But they need to run. In the meantime, though, Name and YZ going through the mid. Wait, where is Name stuff? Oh, Name stuff is still back. It's mainly YZ going through. Rocket run from Nightmare. Some decent work. Got them off the cap, I suppose. They are going to get straight back on it, though. Plasma Cannon may be able to help out. Not if that happens. Kill the model. Here comes the Plasma Cannon, though. It looked like it overshot them, actually. But they got a decap. Sluggers will now try and cap. Knob Squad can apply pressure. Create some space. Look at this, though. Sneaky Apothecary getting through. And they still have the west side, the blue team. Battle wagon on the way for YZ. War truck on the field for name. Could be a really good choice actually to get some reinforcement in the field. They could also go down really fast. Inquisitor level seven. Couldn't quite get the cap there. Double for the blue team. Is a comeback on the card to be a hell of a comeback. Hell of a comeback. I thought they were done for when a Draper was down to a single unit. Where were the Terminators, actually? They're being quite aggressive. But the carry's going to brawl with some Storm Boys. There's that purification right heal. Level 5 this Apothecary. the carry. Gonna go down. But they held up those guys for a while. Another plasma cannon for Angry Metal Guy. Where are they all? 
Can't select the uh, these. Oh, they're in the garrison. Look. Can't select units when they're inside stuff. Single cap for the blue team. Tank busters trying to get this cap done. Some pressure on a Lehman Rust, including a pissed off war boss. It's noisy. Almost got a rear armor hit there. They're chasing it off. But the blue team will retake the west side. Orcs got their natural back and now they have a battle wagon. You can chuck Orcs inside to activate all the guns and the speed bonus. It's got a devastating big mega zap gun or something it's called. It's just a zap gun. Another battle wagon on the way for Noisy this time. Second Lehman Rust going to hit the field as well. There's four plasma cannons for Angry Metal Guy. That shot hit nothing. Assault cannon terminators suppressing a knob squad. That weird boy I think has warpath though, doesn't it? Oh, that's the wrong weird boy. This one, yep. Such a good ability. Plus two speed and damage resist. Level four storm boys jumping in and looking threatening and then backing off again. Pain boy on the cap. Level four pain boy with cyborg implant equipment. Probably been used on the knob squad already. Slugger's dying. Those are named sluggers, I think. They got the cap. There's the two to one again. 18 to 112. And here's Noisy's battle wagon on the west side, loaded with boys. Can the blue team get the natural back quickly? Not gonna be easy. Here comes a war boss with bang bang hammer and a knob squad as well. The garters didn't seem to hit that much. Maybe they got disrupted, and there's the game. It was a double cap at the end. Noisy had decapped the west side. Let's look at his heroes, shall we? Level 8 Inquisitor. Would it have been worth getting a crossbow bolt pistol to stop those big knob squad charges that we saw? Or to help stop them anyway? Level 10 Tech Marine with a melter gun at the end to go after the battle wagon. Level 5 Apothecary. Had some rough losses that perma stun Terminator squad loss was a bit rough, eh? Level 6 War Boss for Noisy. Level 2 war boss for name. Really? Level 2. All of that carnage. And he only got level 2. Level 8 war boss for YZ. But well, there you have it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this big war defense. Unsuccessful this time in their defense. And I'll see you guys next time.